good day. Today we're back on the old shooting range trailhead. And I showed you this trailhead when we did, went up to Ford and then we got on the Roger Fuchs trail and then we got on the Rent Money trail and came back around this way. Today we're gonna head east of this. We're gonna head up over here. We're gonna go up Entertainment Trail. So let's giddy up. So here we're at the beginning of the entertainment trail trailhead. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going a little bit further than just the entertainment trail. We're gonna connect up to 2006 trail. Now, we took that before when uh, I did my Mount Ascension hike, but this time we're gonna be taking it from a different side so we might see some new stuff. And then we're gonna connect up to Pale Rider Trail, and then we'll connect up to Eagle Scout Trail. Let's giddy up. So the first crossroad we've gotten to here is Archery Range. You can take that trail up this way and Entertainment Trail this way. Let's giddy up. So entertainment trail at the beginning back there, it ran into about a 45 to 50 degree slope up. So pretty steep angle to go up, but it kind of lessened the further you go along. It turns into maybe about a 20% incline. What I've also noticed is this must be another great trail for bicyclists. Lots of steep curves cut into the trail with very few rocks, some bumps. Nice trail for bicyclists. So entertainment trail. Once again, it turned into about 45, 50 degree angles, almost maybe 55 at some points, even further. So you'd wanna make sure you're physically fit before taking this trail as it could be a challenge otherwise. Um, I think it's you know, mostly popular with bicyclists because it, it does appear to be a great bicyclist trail. And if you look at this rock right here, you can see where the metal is grinded as the bicyclists run over it. So 
We've come to another crossroad here. Entertainment trail continues up this steep incline that we're gonna be going on. This uh, over here is the beginning of the aftershock trail. You can take up that way. And then there's another trail heading this way through here. Now that's called the entertainment alternative in the woods. So if you wanna get it done in the woods, you go that way. We're getting it done going up entertainment this way. Let's giddy up. Right here at this post, and this is where Entertainment Woods connects back up. And we, of course, came up just a regular entertainment trail here. And right down here, it did open up into a meadow area. Otherwise, this whole hike has been in dense forest. Now, once we left the cutoff for the alternative of getting it done in the woods, it turned into about a 75 degree angle. Pretty rough at that point. Now, once again, I couldn't get any information on how Entertainment Trail got its name. So maybe the first scenario is that it gets its name from the TV show by CBS Entertainment Tonight. Now that's highly possible because the show has been around since 1981. And who knows, they could have done a broadcast set from this trail. Now the second scenario for Entertainment Trail getting its name is maybe they named it for me. They knew one day I'd be hiking it providing you with this very entertaining video. Now the third scenario for Entertainment Trail getting its name is maybe it's amusement for everyone to go out and enjoy. I think that's probably highly likely how it got its name. Let's giddy up. Coming up Entertainment Trail, the rest of it there, it turned into about a 20% incline. Not bad at all. Now, at this crossroad, you go up this trail right here, that'll take you to the Arrow Root connector, to Arrow Root Trailhead, and Entertainment Trail, of course, this way that we just came up. And Over here it's posted that this is the entertainment trail to the Mount Ascension Summit. Let's giddy up. So as we're coming up entertainment trail here, you get some absolutely beautiful views. So as you can see, some absolutely beautiful views of the city from here. So we're now at the summit of Mount Ascension. I'm not gonna give you the, the altitude because I did that on my Mount Ascension hike. You can look that up, check out my Mount Ascension hike. What I noticed at the top of Mount Ascension over here the only one feature they had there was the poop box. I see that's gone, not there any longer. When I started off with this hike, it was 64 degrees. 
is now 66 degrees, early May. Nice day out, the clouds are pretty high. They cleared up nicely, so you get some nice views. So today I brought with me a Cali Creamin. It's a vanilla cream ale. It's got vanilla bean, cool and crisp, smooth finish, ale with natural flavor added. It's produced by the Mother Earth Brewing Company, and that would be out of Vista, California. So we'll give that a try, see what we think. Of course, another cream ale that I just couldn't pass up. I like those cream ales. It's nice and chilled. Didn't really get hot from the hike. Fairly light color. Yep, that's an ale for you. It's not real strong. A lot of cream taste to it. It's a good beer. This is a lot like the Uber brew I had in Billings. That cream ale. Very nice cream taste to it. Almost reminds you of a butter beer. So I'm having a California beer. Like I said, I just couldn't pass up the cream ale that I came across. And I ran out of the Lewis and Clark varieties they had. So I make me California Cali Creamin here in the hilltops of Montana. But I much prefer spending my time taking this hike than it would be sitting in 12 lane traffic in California at a dead stop. So I hope you're enjoying the views behind me. Hills over here, the snow-capped mountains melted off, but over here, as you can see, we still got some snow-topped mountains over here. So on this hike so far, I've come across very few people. Mostly, it's just been bicyclists. Came across a few of them. Really haven't come across any uh, wildlife either. But once again, I think my bell on my backpack ran. You can hear it. I think that scares away the wildlife. But when I wear my bell, my backpack when I'm going on a trip in the airport, I get some funny looks or in the city but it's kind of a calling card for me. I enjoy it. So we're now at the 2006 trail. We're gonna head this way, let's giddy up. We're now on the 2006 trail. This is a portion of it that we've never hiked before. It seems pretty nice. Again, nice trail for bicyclists. Fairly wide trail, no rocks, and some curves and bumps. Let's giddy up.
We've come to another crossroad here. 2006 trail. It's going to continue this way. That's the way we're going to go. But if you're doing the 2006 loop trail, you head up this way. Let's giddy up. Here we've got to another crossroad. Going up this way is Aftershock Trail. Someday we'll take that. But 2006 Trail continues on this way. We don't have much further to go on it. Let's giddy up. So this is the end of our 2006 trail hike. We're gonna now get on Pale Rider. Let's giddy up. You do get some beautiful views of the city from here. Seems to be a nice trail, but as you can see behind me, pretty rocky. So bicyclists may have a tough time with it, especially going uphill. Now Pill Rider, I could forgot how it got its name, is the first scenario of how it got its name is possibly that Pell Rider means it's the Grim Reaper riding his horse on this trail. This is hope we don't run into that environment. And the second scenario is it gets its name from the 1985 movie Pale Rider by Clint Eastwood. I think that's a, probably a highly likely scenario how it got its name. So we're now at another crossroad. We just came down Pale Rider Trail here. Now Pale Rider Trail up there can get a little confusing. So many trails cut into it. So you just wanna, after that sign, head east. And then once you get to a crossroad, you wanna go north. So you head north, you're gonna do good. You'll get to this point. And now this is the beginning of the Eagle Scout Trail. We'll head this way. If you wanted to go this way, this is gonna be easy rider trail. Let's giddy up. Now Eagle Scout Trail, this is a nice trail. It's in a dense forest area. What's really nice about it is it's all downhill. We already did all our work on entertainment trail coming up that. Now Eagle Scout Trail, it's probably a trail for hiking for Eagle Scouts. Or it could very well be that it gets its name because some Eagle Scouts built a trail and maintain it. I'm not quite sure which it is. Eagle Scout, part of the Boy Scouts, and it's the highest rank achievable that you can get in the Boy Scouts of America organization. There's a lot of switchbacks coming down it. Now the inception of the Eagle Scouts. That occurred in 1911 and since then only 4% of Boy Scouts make it to the ranking of Eagle Scout. So Eagle Scout Trail there's a slight incline. Had I taken this hike in reverse, come up Eagle Scout Trail first with the incline, I'm sure I'd be thinking to myself, now do I get a merit badge for hiking up this hill?
So at the end of this hike down Eagle Scout Trail, you get to the DeFord Trailhead here. Now the DeFord Trail runs a little bit to the north here, but it mainly runs to the south. And as I mentioned to you, it goes all the way down to the old shooting range. And then we took our hike before, which it goes well beyond that. And that, if you want reference to that, see my Roger Fuchs trail hike that I did. And here's the trailhead. There's a granite memorial for Lois and Don DeFord here to sit and rest on. 